Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here at Iraq Veteran 8888. Uh, we've taken a very special little field trip uh, today up to LPS Laboratories in Tucker, Georgia. Uh, we're going to see where some of the coolest uh, products for cleaning and, and all different sort of things are made. Uh, walk you guys through a little bit. You're going to get to meet some of the uh, people that work at this company. Uh, hopefully we'll make this uh, video pretty entertaining for you guys. Uh, let's have a look around. We're going to take a little bit of a tour and uh, let's see how it looks. This is a really awesome place. All right, I'm here in the laboratory with uh, Ed. Uh, he is the uh, technical director here at LPS. How you doing? Doing good. All right, tell me a little bit about what you do around here. Well, um, down in our department, we're responsible for quality control of the products, designing new products, um, maintaining compliance with all the different regulations that affect the chemical industry, and also serving our customers if they have particular technical needs. And, and our customers tend to be kind of uh, picky. They, they want products to be absolutely perfect. So you have to go through all this kind of testing, make sure the product's going to be stable, it'll, it'll dispense from the aerosol container, as well as have to meet all the different um, regulations, federal and state and so forth, international as well, that they have to meet for sure. both the aerosol container and the blend inside. We know that also comes down to your customer base. I mean, the fact that people are, are so funny about how well these products have to work and, and the fact that you know they need to have a long shelf life, that also comes down to exactly what your customers are expecting of you and what they've asked for. Mm -hmm. A lot of these mm -hmm. products are a direct relationship between a need that the customer is trying to fulfill and then what you guys are able to do to fulfill that need. So they have a very direct expectation. It just seems like a lot of the products, like namely LPS-1, has been used by people on their firearms over the years just mm -hmm. because of their relationship with it at work. You know, they might work in the, uh, you know, aviation industry or automotive <laughs> or whatever, and they're taking it home and using it on their guns. So uh, how excited are you to see it kind of branching out into the firearms market? Oh, it's, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. All right, you guys ever wonder how the little straw gets on the side of the can on all your lubricants that you buy? All right, here you go. Here's how. How does it know? All right, this is a room where they produce all of the wipes. All right, and this is their new LPS-1 weapons wipe that they're putting out now. It's basically a uh, very heavy duty, saturated wipe pretty large there very very tough almost like an actual you know towel and that's saturated with LPS 1 very simple they don't have an offensive odor they don't stink so uh, definitely a handy thing to have laying around in the range bag you know good gifts for people stocking stuffers whatever the case may be so uh, pretty cool well I'm here with uh, Todd he's in charge of brand management here at LPS uh, Todd mm -hmm. how you doing I'm doing great thanks for uh Thanks for coming in today, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about how people have sort of stolen, I say stolen, but kind of borrowed LPS-1 and kind of taken it home and used it on their guns. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of what got y'all thinking about it. Yeah, there's, def there's definitely a lot of stories, but you know, in the hangars, um, yeah. you know, out in the desert, uh, wh wherever it might be, but, but people in the hangars, they take it, you know, they might be an aviation mechanic and they shoot. Um, they notice that it removes carbon on the airplane, or they notice that it has a good corrosion inhibition you know, quality to the product. Well, sure. what happens is, is they, you know, they end up taking that right out of the hangar. It shows up on guns. And we've really created a pretty strong cult following. There's a lot of people that have used right. these products for 20, 30 years on their guns. We, we kind of feel bad, but at the same time, we want that secret to be out. So we're sure. sorry we're spilling it for all of you that have been following us for all these years, but we are exactly. going to go ahead and spill that secret. I think it's time for the world to know what LPS wants yeah, to do. Yeah, and I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's really an amazing product. You know.
You know, you can't really appreciate exactly what goes on in a place like this until you come and see it in person and, and all the things that they do to produce this kind of stuff. It's pretty amazing, actually. You know, so the next time you go to clean your gum with something, spraying down, you know, just know the, the kind of stuff that goes into this sort of thing. Well, folks, I think that's going to wrap things up today here at LPS. I appreciate you watching today's video. Uh, Todd, is there anything you want to tell the world? If I was going to tell the world anything, I'd say try it. Clean your firearm with it. Let it displace the water. Let it create that little bit of uh, lubrication that you're going to need. And, and it'll prevent corrosion for 30 days. Try it. Let us know what you think. And Awesome. And we'll help you find where to buy it. Well, yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely going to be doing some experimentation with uh, LPS-1 and several other uh, lubricants as time goes on. So uh, we appreciate you guys watching today. Have a good day, and we'll catch you soon.